Oh, what's up YouTube? Kylo here, and I'm here to do a mono unboxing for you guys. I have two of the same bands today, and I'm, they're each going to get their own videos, but we're going to start off with the uh, first one. Uh, they're both vinyls. Background, we're going to blast Gamma Ray, and no, um, no World Order, or No New Order. No, No World Order, which is my favorite Gamma Ray record. If you know Gamma Ray, they're a uh, power metal band. Which is a throwback for me, so yeah, fucking love this record. But besides that, that's besides the point of the video. We're gonna unbox the vinyl, and the vinyl we're gonna be unboxing is this bad boy, which is Black Dahlia's Murder. Um, Defliverate. Defliverate. Uh, I, I could never pronounce it, but Defliverate. Um, this is my first Black Dahlia Murder record I listened to, not got into, listened to. Because I had, uh, because I knew Black Dahlia Murder when this record came out, like back in 09. And the song uh, Neocropolis was like one of my all time favorite songs. And that was the only song for years I could listen to from them. Because I was never really into these guys. Um, I don't know why. It took me years until I went to Warp Tour and saw them live back in 2013. They played at Warp Tour. And I was just like. I was just, I just came with a friend, I was like, why, why the fuck not? Came with him, and then I was like, holy shit, these guys are fucking awesome. So I kind of liked that, and then I listened to this album a lot more, and I kind of liked it a little bit more, and also, Ever Black was new, so I listened to that, and I also enjoyed that record, but those were the only two records for a while I got into. Um, so yeah, I finally got this, and this is, like I said, a throwback record for me was nothing really impactful just Neocropolis was a song I fucking loved back in the day and it's one of the early extreme songs I listened to back in the day but yeah, now, now I'm a Black Dahlia Murder fan I actually really enjoy these guys a lot so yeah I had to pick up I'm picking up like majority of all the records except me ass mom because that shit's fucking impossible please do a repress because that album's fucking amazing and my friend just messaged me so yeah here it is Let's unbox this bad boy. I bought this used from Discog at $13. The seller was selling it for $13. Reason is, it has some sticker left, like left behind stuff, like the white stuff. And um, it's on the cover, but it doesn't really bother me as much that I'm gonna be like, oh, it's gonna annoy me. It's like really kind of easy to take off. But yeah, that's what happened. But he was selling it for really $13. I was like, why the fuck not? Cause that, this was on my list for a while now. Songs I enjoy is uh, I will return Neocropolis of course because it's fuck yeah. That song's still my favorite record. Uh, very first song. A Selection of All Nature which is a fucking great song. Black Valor is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Eyes of a Thousand is pretty alright. Like, like I said, it's not my favorite Black Dahlia Murder record, but it's one that it kind of brings back some memories. But just Neocropolis mostly is the song I fucking love from this record. This is like Neocropolis is one of my all-time favorite Black Dahlia Murder songs. But yeah, there it is. It's a gatefold. Lyrics. This is a repress from 2013 because it hasn't has not came out on vinyl, and it's on a. This is the yellow orange gold version which is the most easiest one this is the one that you can find everywhere but it's 180 gram I think kind of somewhat feels a little bit heavier but yeah 180 gram kind of happy I have this to be honest this is a record that doesn't go for that much but for me I kind of like I said I wanted to get it mostly for Neocropolis but the rest of the record is one that I could it's a record that I could enjoy if I'm in the mood for some melodic death so yeah oh yeah here's another thing I kind of don't like I hate when people try to categorize these guys as deathcore I'm like where's the deathcore elements yeah they have breakdowns but melodic death also has breakdowns like other bands have breakdowns so it's like it's really stupid but these guys are straight up melodic death they're the American style of melodic death they took the sound from like what at the gates did and made it into their own sound and now these guys are one of the biggest bands out there that their records go for too much money. Besides this one. Because this one's easy. Unless if you got the pumpkin orange, I think that's called. That's 40 bucks or something like that. But yeah. 
Pretty cool. Really happy I have this now in my collection. Like a throwback record for my collection. One of the early, like, like, melodic death bands I got into. One of the extreme bands back in the day. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vinyl unboxing. I'm, I have another one, which this one I'm super excited for. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Take care, guys, and stay fucking metal. See ya.